Can you guess what the top 150 songs of all times are? The answer is the Psalms. The Psalms were originally written as songs. The Psalms were written thousands of years ago. The Psalms have been translated into just about every language. And the Psalms are still sung today in churches, synagogues, and homes. The Psalms are a collection of 150 ancient Hebrew poems, hymns, and prayers from different eras in Israel's history. They were composed into the Psalms after the exile to Babylon. The Psalms are divided into five books, each ending with a doxology, a hymn of praise. Book one consists of Psalm 1 to Psalm 41. Book two consists of Psalms 42 to Psalm 72. Book three consists of Psalm 73 to Psalms 89. Book four consists of Psalms 90 to Psalms 106. And book five consists of Psalms 107 to Psalms 150. 73 of the Psalms are attributed to David, a king, a poet, and a harpist. Asaph wrote 12 of the Psalms. The sons of Korah wrote 11 of the Psalms. Solomon, David's son, wrote two of the Psalms. Heman and Eden, temple worship leaders, wrote two of the Psalms. Moses wrote one of the Psalms. And the rest of the Psalms are anonymous. There are several types of Psalms, including penitential Psalms, individual and communal lament Psalms, royal Psalms, messianic Psalms, imprecatory or cursing Psalms, individual and communal thanksgiving Psalms, wisdom Psalms, and mixed type of Psalms. For example, Psalms 78, 105, and 106 are narratives about Israel. Psalm 120 to Psalm 134 are songs of ascent, sung by worshippers on their way up to Jerusalem to the temple. Many Psalms have individual superscriptions, ranging from lengthy comments to a single word. Some appear to be musical direction, addressed to a leader or a choir master, including such statements as with stringed instruments and according to the lilies. Others appear to be references to types of musical composition, such as a psalm, a song, or direction regarding the occasion for using the psalms, such as on the dedication of the temple and for a memorial offering. The themes of the Psalms include, among others, God as the creator, God as the redeemer, God as the judge, God's glory, God's law, God's wisdom, God's attributes, God as our refuge, the incarnation of Jesus, the passion of Jesus, worship, thanksgiving, prayer, trust in God, divine guidance, the transitoriness of life, the hope of immortality, and righteousness. The Psalms were original title, the Helim, which means praise songs. The Psalms have also been called the emotions of the Bible because of the whole range of emotions contained in the Psalms. For that reason, the Psalms give us a full range of ways to approach God, no matter what we're going through or experiencing. The Psalms understood correctly should encourage the readers to praise God for who he is and for what he has done and continues to do. The Psalms can also help the readers to worship God in spirit and in truth. Join me, would you please, on a panoramic journey into the Psalms, exploring certain keywords in the Psalms 
in their original language, Hebrew, to unearth the much needed hidden spiritual insights to help us know God, worship God, praise God, and serve God in the way that he deserves and in the way that glorifies him. See you in the next episode. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Do you think the picture that you were looking at is worth a thousand words? What if I were to tell you it is worth beyond the literal 